Oh. Welcome to High Marsh Falls. We will see what we can we can do here. You see we're balanced right on the edge of the falls. So hopefully we can pick up an image or two here. And <laughs> not only is it difficult to find somewhere safe to put my feet it's also difficult somewhere for the bag so let's uh, set up as quickly as we can and as safely as we can and then move on <laughs> this is a little just a little bit uh, not maybe not treacherous is the word but Definitely not somewhere where you can step back and admire the view. Okay, so this is the scene that we've got in front of us. And you might have to forgive the sound of this water. Um, we've got to move quickly because the, the sunlight is creeping down this valley quite quickly. So uh, I'm just going to immediately see that this is a two seconds at ISO 100. I think that's a bit too, too fast for us. One and a half seconds. Um, we can play around with different shutter speeds. So the first thing I'm going to do is move from F16 to F11. And I'm going to increase my, shoot, my ISO so that I can play around with that. I'm going to go for a test shot around the second ISO 250. So, Buffy, sit, sit, stay, stay. I've got Rafi with me, so I'm um, just keeping an eye on him. He's tethered on the flat above me, but right, okay, let's give that a test shot. So what we have, as you can see, we have the water, the cascade coming in at the bottom left and it's meandering its way up to the top right of this image. You can just see some of that real bright highlights coming in at the top of the image. I'll probably have to darken that or clone that out or even crop it out. So let's have a little look at that at one second. I've got a feeling it's too fast, but we'll have a look. Actually, that's quite pretty. I quite like that. Let's just uh, let's just go with that for the time being. We we'll want to beat. We we'll want to beat that light as it's coming creeping in. So focused here in the near ground. I'm just going to focus on this plant on the right, just to make sure I've got everything in focus. And uh, and then I'm going to zigzag my way up. I'm going to make sure that we focus all the way through this at F11. And all the key bits of interest, such as that cascade over there. Up into the background. I'm quite pleased with that. It's a beautiful, a beautiful little spot. And if that turns out, I'm going to throw that up now. I'm quite pleased with that.
And what I'm going to do now, capture the full falls, I'm going to adjust the composition and just hone in. You can see that light. You can really see that light there now. And I want to be able to cut that off. And my hope was, and it does seem to look like it'll work, was to get this huge rock on the left-hand side and again the water coming through from bottom left cascading through. So once again, I'm going to come down low. Focus in the foreground, one second. And work my way up this scene again. So, just so that we get everything that we want nice and sharp. Well, what a beautiful little river this is. And the gorgeous falls. Now, my key bit of interest is those tiny little falls on the left, as well as the larger cascade on the right. So I'm making sure I have them. And then I'm just going to work my way up slowly. I may not need all of these, but, you know, my rule of thumb is always take more than you think you need because you can't come back and get the same conditions every time. So I try my best to overcompensate and get as much as I can. But this is a beautiful little falls. And it's a... It's benefited from, from the, the rain that we've recently had. We had rain last night and obviously we've got um, the, the ground quite sodden. So this has just run off and run straight into the rivers. Gorgeous, beautiful. So we're done. How simple is that? Very quickly done. Um, so now the thought is, do we move down? Or do we concentrate on some of these mini falls that we've got here? I think we'll... I think what we'll do, we'll change our lens and I'll zoom in on a couple of these cascades and do some little intimate shots. And uh, I've got my friend, um, Jaren, Jaren Spoonley to, uh, well, uh, um, to thank for this. He's recently done a video on that. I'll put the link in the description on intimate, using a long lens to zoom in on, uh, on these falls. I've got a feeling my 100 isn't going to cut it. I'm going to be too close, but I'll give it a go. Um, again, kicking myself, I should have brought the 32 to 64, uh, but never mind. Uh, we'll go with what we've got. I'll see whether this works, and if it does, we'll carry on here, and if it doesn't, well, we'll move further downstream. So, yeah, I've zoomed in on this nice little cascade that we saw before, and this time I'm going to start adjusting our polarizer. You can see here, full glare. You can see the glare of the water on those rocks, and if I pull back, they'll go darker, and if I continue, they'll go brighter again. So what we want is that darkest part there. So that shows us that, 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 that we've taken the glare off those rocks. I think we, we may have a touch too much water there on the bottom, just completely obliterating the scene. So I'm just adjusting it like this. So I've got a bit of that water on the top and a bit of the bottom, and we can go from there. Um, 
we might be able to just a touch come up a bit I'm going to lower that ISO as best I can and that's giving us one second at ISO 200 so I'm going to give that a little go focus on the falls themselves two second timer see what we get And foot is going a bit dead because <laughs> I'm on an angle. So let me just shift a little bit and now we can shift our composition. Now where the main falls are, I can't get a composition because the rock the rock comes out. Um, but I think we'll take it all the same. It's not, not the best. I wish I was further left. So we can see those mini falls in full. Um, and there is a bit of horrible twig sticking out. So I think we'll have far composition like this. So we've got it coming in top left and going out bottom left. That looks uh, rather nice. So again, I'm just going out with a, with a three seconds. I don't want three seconds here. Um, I really want about a second or less. So, so I'm going to come down to about a second and now I'm going to increase my ISO until I'm happy with the histogram and again focus stack always focus stack if you think that you may not have enough um, depth at your given f-stop felt a blob of rain it's going to start coming down so let's pack up and move along <laughs> I'm afraid the rain's coming thick and fast so um, we may call it a day here and, uh, and return another, another morning Oh, uh, dreadlocks. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm under, a, as, a, as you can see, a fir tree. And yeah, we'll definitely come back because I want that shot. I want this shot. I want this shot. Um, but I can't do it in this torrential rain. It's just, it's absolutely everywhere. Um, I'm just unable to take a single shot at the moment. So if it goes off in the next 10 minutes, I'll be back. And if not, then I just want to wish you all well. Mm -hmm. 